Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate um, how you can integrate ClickUp.com with Slack. As you can see, I already created my account at uh, ClickUp.com. First of all, uh, we want to go, as you can see, to the bottom left corner of our screen and uh, where our uh, workplace is or your avatar. Now you want to click with our left click and go to integrations. Once we are in integrations, as a first uh, option here is Slack. We want to go to Slack and we want to click on it and uh, we want to explore our options on the bottom side. Uh, once you are sure that it's the way that you want to go, just click to add to Slack. And now you just have to sign in with your uh, Slack account. And you are basically done with uh, integration even though there is a second way how you can do it and the second way is uh, through zapier.com once again we also need and uh, we want to create an account and zapier.com once we do that we want to go to the top left corner and we want to make a zap right now we want to uh, make a uh, name our zap, which will be, for example, it's completely up to you. Uh, click up to Slack, for example. Now, what we need to do is create an integration. Uh, the first uh, step in integration is adding the outcome uh, application. In our case, it's ClickUp. Uh, yeah, I use the search engine, but you can go with whatever. Now we need to set up a trigger event. For trigger event, uh, basically declares what will happen if uh, some of these triggers happen in ClickUp. So mm, there's a new task in ClickUp. We press continue. Uh, we choose an account that we created before. We go to continue. Now we want to set up a trigger. And also, there's a marker stone workplace. And choose a value, just a space. Folder space. Oh, you don't need to set up these ones, actually. The second one, the second one is our outcome. Uh, in our case, it's a, it's a Slack. Uh, as you can see, I have it already here. But you can use the search engine if it doesn't appear at your window. Go to Slack, and now what will happen if uh, the new task starts in uh, it's triggered in ClickUp? Let's say uh, we add a reminder in Slack. Press continue, and now we just have to sign in to Slack. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.